Hello everybody. Welcome back to the Biker Baker Show. And today we're going to make Brookies. It's a brownie with a cookie together. Chocolate chip, not chocolate chip, chocolate. Um, we're going to have dark chocolate chips here. We're going to use that. And it's just a small batch. So um, I don't know how many it makes. I've never made them. Looks good. Maybe eight to ten cookies. Depends on how, how big we make them. So I've got one and a quarter cup of dark chocolate chips in the glass bowl because we're just going to mix everything in here. I'm going to put in a quarter cup of butter, which is a half a stick. Put that in there. And then we're going to melt that in the microwave. And uh, I'll be back when we get ready to put everything else in it after this gets melted. All right, guys, I had it in the microwave two 25-second intervals. I was going to say minutes. Uh -huh. Two 25-second intervals, and that um, got my chocolate chips all melted. Um, I turned the oven on at 350 degrees. Of course, Mr. Smith had to remind me because I thought I was ready, and I was like, your oven on? No. Thanks. So... We're going in with a third cup of brown sugar. Brown sugar. Bam. And a quarter cup of white sugar. And here we go. Two eggs. Bloop and bloop. And I'm going to mix that up with my mixer a little bit. Not too much though, just a little bit. And then I have a teaspoon of baking powder and a half a cup of all-purpose flour. So simple, guys, and it's just a small batch. So a um, pinch of salt, I'm going to put that in there. And if you use salted butter, you probably don't have to have that, but just a pinch of salt. Put in the half a cup. What kind of flour are you using? I am using the Hudson cream flour because everybody knows that is the best. Now, I don't know. I don't know if you can find it everywhere. I think it's out of uh, West Virginia, maybe. I know we like it. We're in Southern Ohio, and we can find it here at our Walmart. I don't want to mix it too much, so I just had it on low. And that's all the ingredients in this, guys. So simple. Kind of looks like a brownie. It don't does. It? And if you want to put nuts in it, you can. I I had already talked about it with a Mr. Smith beforehand because you know he's nutty. And I said, I'm not going to put any nuts in it. He just gave me the look like. <laughs> So, here we go. We're just going, I've got a jelly roll pan here lined with some parchment paper and my tablespoon and a half, I think, or a quarter scoop. I'm just going to put them right on there. Yeah, you, you may be able to put like you some chocolate chips in here, some mini chocolate chips if you want. That's what I do in brownie, normal brownies anyway, and some nuts. But I wanted to try the cookies without all of that stuff in it. They're dark. Yep. Rich looking. Because of the dark chocolate chips. Mm -hmm. And could put some instant coffee in them. Oh. Maybe I'll save you some there. Let's cook. Let's bake these ones first, and then I have a little bit here that I'll put you some nuts and coffee in. How's that? Okay. <laughs> so, I got seven on here, and probably can get three or four more out of it. So, 350 degree oven for 16 to 18 minutes. I'm going to put them in mine, and I'll let you know how long. All right, guys, we had the 
rookies in the oven for exactly 16 minutes at 350 on my oven. Look at these. They look so good and they smell so good, don't they? <sighs> it smells fantastic in here. They're hot. I just took them out, so I'm going to let them cool for a minute or two. And it made exactly a dozen because I have seven here and the rest of it made five. So we've got five in the oven for Mr. Smith that I put pecans in it and a little bit of instant coffee because he likes that in chocolate, like chocolate cake or brownies. So we've got that going. We're waiting on those for him to taste them. And we bought a lathe today at Harbor Freight. Wood Hashtag lathe. Harbor Freight, a wood lathe. Because he likes to turn wood and he doesn't have any anymore. So, um, and that's a, how we met with something he made. So we'll tell that story later if you guys want to know how we met. It's kind of a... A nice story for us anyway. We love it. We like our love story. Yes, we do. <laughs> so, um, we got that going on. We're going to be making some wood crafts and some coasters and personalized and all the good stuff for when I retire to give us something to do also besides doing a little bit of traveling around because we both like to do some crafting. Um, go to flea markets, maybe sell online or something. So, we got that in the works. Trying to get everything bought for that. Woo! They're not cheap. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, Several more tools to buy yet. Yes, that's <laughs> the beginning. All right. Ooh, the cookie, here we go. Ooh, look at that. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, it looks just like a brownie, don't it? It does. Mm. I'm not a big chocolate fan. These are delicious, though. Scoop of vanilla ice cream on it? Vanilla ice cream, yes. Yeah. Not chocolate ice cream. I don't like chocolate ice cream at all. Oh, yeah. Oh. You got to try these anyway without the nuts. You, you'll like them. They are so good. And guys, I, this would be like a... <laughs> wow, that is good. Mm -hmm. Be like a small batch because it only makes a dozen. So, we'll... Um, mm. I'll, <laughs> I'll leave the ingredients in the description box. I probably got chocolate all over me. No, you're good. <laughs> I'll leave the description. The, what? <laughs> <laughs> you're making faces at me. The ingredients <laughs> in the description box... And uh, I hope you guys give these a try because they are so good. You can also double it if you want. If you want a couple dozen. Um, we just did a, one dozen and that's perfect for us. He said he's going to eat those five that's in the oven. You could probably fix him a cup of coffee or a big glass of milk. Mm -hmm, you're one or the other. And eat them all at once. Or maybe both. <laughs> maybe both. So... Guys, we are loving it that you're watching our videos and liking our channels and um, we're getting more subscribers and more shares. We appreciate all that you guys do for us. Um, hopefully, we'll be doing some different stuff. Some, you know, like not just baking, but some regular food also, if you call it regular food, like pork chops and chicken. Yeah. <laughs> and some ribs. All right, so a roast, we, uh, roast, yes. So like, comment, share, subscribe, please, and help us grow. And thanks for watching the Biker Baker Show. Peace out. <laughs>